In a testament to the boundless spirit of New Jersey entrepreneurs, the Kai Blanc Boutique Hotel in St. Lucia has just been named the leading boutique hotel in the Caribbean by the World Travel Awards. Owned and operated by a proud Parsippany family, this hotel represents a piece of Jersey hospitality transplanted into the heart of the Caribbean. Joining us now to discuss how her family went from Parsippany to paradise is Victoria Ritz. Victoria, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I was obsessed with this story the second you sent me your pitch. I need to know everything. How did your Parsippany family find itself in the heart of the Caribbean? Right, right. I love the tagline Persephone to Paradise because St. Lucia is exactly that. Um, I'm the third generation of our family that has been working on Kai Blanc. Um, and it all started with my grandfather who went to St. Lucia on a random vacation. Um, while he was touring the island, he went up a cliff in the town called Soufre on the island and saw this view of the Pitons. If you've never been to St. Lucia, the Pitons are the iconic staple of the island, these gorgeous mountains. Um, and while he was on this cliff, there happened to be a property for sale that overlooked this view and the sea. Um, he bought it. So this hotel actually started as our family home. Um, and it's something that I grew up as a kid traveling from Parsippany to St. Lucia every year for our family vacation just to enjoy um, and in enjoy as a family. Ultimately, when my mom came into, you know, a little bit more of a role in our family estate, we realized we didn't want to keep this view from everyone. We wanted to share our love with the view, with the island, um, and with the local culture, with everyone that we could. So about 10 years ago, we transformed our family home into what it is today, which is a six suite boutique hotel with cliffside, with a gorgeous infinity pool that overlooks the Pitons. I love that. Describe the transformation of the property. I mean, you're up here in Morris County, right? Your, your business is very far away. So describe how that was putting this hotel together. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, I personally, I remember I was in college when all of this was going on and my mom and grandfather partnered up together. Uh, my grandfather actually has a background in design. And so he was really heavily involved in the aesthetic and making sure that our property ultimately would be unique and give um, an atmosphere when you entered it like no other. A lot of people say they enter our property and it feels like they've been transported to India because a lot of the pieces um, are actually from there. Um, but really working on this project from afar was not an easy feat. There was a lot of back and forth and travel and working with the local contractors. Ultimately, it did take over a year and a half to get the project done. Um, ultimately though, now, you know, we're, we're so happy that we did it just because again, the feedback that we get from everyone that visits is that it's a unique experience that you can't get visiting anywhere else. What do your visitors think of when they find out you're from New Jersey? I, do they get a kick out of that? You know, a lot of our guests are from the New York tri-state area um, because there are a lot of, there are direct flights um, from Newark and JFK. And so when people call, when you call the line of our hotel, you will get my mom or me. And instantly it's like, oh, wait a minute, you're not from, you're not in St. Lucia, are you? And then it starts the story and everyone's like, oh my gosh, how, why? Um, incredible. And ultimately when they visit, you know, it is sort of, sort of like that home away from home because it was our home. So there's a lot of, you know, family relics and things that, you know, from traveling from New Jersey to St. Lucia, you might be like, oh, that, that feels like grandma's, you know, kitchen that feels like, you know, home. Yeah, there's that comfort level for sure. So what does this recent award mean to you and the family? 
this award, it was so exciting for us to receive. Um, actually, my mom and I went to the awards ceremony in St. Vincent um, just to receive the trophy. Um, and it just, it's, it's really special to be able to do this as a family. Um, you know, my grandfather having purchased this had, had really no idea that ultimately this could become something that our family could not only grow together, but, you know, kind of have this um, heirloom to, to be proud of. Um, so receiving the award was just a testament to all of our hard work and passion, because that's really what it is. It, it comes into the fact that we're just so passionate about providing our guests with a unique experience unlike any other and spreading awareness at how fantastic St. Lucia, the St. Lucia people and the culture is. And you especially had, the food. The, oh, the food is really good. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that St. Lucia is on my bucket list for sure. I have two babies, so it's hard to get away, but now I know where I'm going. And by the way, besides a lot of New Jerseyans coming to patronize you, you've had a ton of celebrities stay there as well. Yes, we have been fortunate. Um, one of our first people who visited the hotel when it first, first opened, where this is 10 years ago now, um, was Emily Ratatowski, who came to shoot a Sports Illustrated spread. Um, so we have this incredible, you know, picture of her on some of our like doors and with our infinity pool and of course with the piton view um and so that was an incredible experience um but part of my role in the business in in the hotel now is creating relationships with familiar faces and creators to spread the word we've had trina braxton visit we've had a social media uh, influencer named caleb t hill visit and right now we have a collaboration with a saint lucian born chef um his name is chef shorn benjamin who owns the viral restaurant fat fowl um and we have a collaboration with him where we have some of his food menu available on our uh, property, which because we have a restaurant on property called The Pavilion. Um, and we also have a retreat coming up with him in September, which is a four day foodie experience. He's gonna teach everybody how to cook and oh, his cooking is incredible. Well, when you are ready to have the New Jersey Morning Show live from St. Lucia, you let us know, cause we're in. <laughs> Love to have you, absolutely. <laughs> Victoria, this was so much fun. Congratulations on all of your family's success. Where can people find out more about Kai Blanc and to book a vacation? Thank you so much. So for those who are interested in booking, please visit our website. It's kaiblancvilla.com. Victoria, thank you so much and best of, of love and success and everything to you and everyone at Kai Blanc. Thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun.